So Midnight's Legacy came to me from David and Kathleen Holmes. They're very local to us. Um, they gave me a ring after uh, we brought Olga Vango over from Ireland and they said to me, you know, is, would you consider standing another standing? And I said, the right one, absolutely. Um, asked me to stand this lad and I couldn't turn it down. You know, his father's an absolute stalwart of British breeding and what an exciting prospect to have at the stud. So Midnight's Legacy is the only son of Midnight legend who's entire um, so age of catching in this country is fantastic, but also, you know, his, his, his sire has got such a loyal following, both here and, and in Ireland, but particularly here in the UK, um, and he's still breeding, breeding winner after winner after winner. Um, so, you know, to have those lines, if you like, sort of overlapping on that timeline, still going to be mares out there that visited Midnight Legend and produced, re hello, um, produced really, really nice progeny and you know are still able to visit Midnight's legacy at this stage in his career it's, it's very exciting his family speaks for itself you know that that doesn't need me to extol its virtues um, he uh, Midnight's legacy is a very very chilled out horse he's got lovely action um, but he's also got fantastic head you know he's 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 um, he's got the right attitude for the job and his career as a racehorse you know it's not very often in this country that we see stallions standing at stud that have jumps form in this country and he does have that you know it's unusual it's something different to bring to the market you know he's a credit to himself so Olga Van Gogh came to us um, earlier this year well last year and now um, from Coolmore um, you know, for a long time I have thought this is a stallion with enormous potential um, and now we're seeing his progeny coming through the ranks and, and they are winning graded races, you know, regularly but they are also winning really quality races right through from point to point all the way through, hello young man, um, you know, and now he's, now he's popped his head out to say hello but, you know, he he's a, he's a sire of real quality and we are really excited to be standing here in the UK now. He's settled really, really well. You know, this is a horse that is, is very easy going. Um, of the three lads that we stand, he'd be the most stallion-ish of them. But for all, for saying that, you know, he is he's gentle, he's easy going, his temperament's very good. Um, and, you know, he, he's settled into life with us very, very well. Hopefully, he's going to experience a bit of a resurgence now he's in the UK. I mean, the obvious thing is that, you know, he's got great progeny coming through the ranks now. Chap Kylie um, is, a, is a superstar for Willie Mullins. But at the same time, Paul Nichols had a very, very good uh, bumper winner a few weeks ago at Exeter, a horse called Wrapped Up in May. These really quality, quality stock of his are coming through the ranks. And, that can only be a positive addition to British breeding. Um, you know, he, he's, he, has, he has it all. He's got plenty of size, plenty of bone, you know, a lovely monster pedigree. He's, he's, he's the whole package, I hope. I think the horse I mentioned of um, Paul Nichols wrapped up in May could be something very special. Um, the way he won at Exeter that day was, it was pretty, pretty impressive. But you know, there's, there is so much out there. I'm very excited, a horse I'm very familiar with, and, and obviously um, I have a, have a special sort of affinity for, if you like, is Langer Dan. Um, you know, he, he is a, a horse that's all heart. And you know, hope, you know, hopefully that's something we're seeing coming through now. He puts this brilliant attitude on his horses, and uh, on his progeny, and I, I think that's really, really positive. Dink's been with us now, he's going into his third season, and I'm really pleased with how his books are developing. Um, you know, he, he's seen good numbers of mares. I think he saw 52 last year, which you know is, is, is really good. Um, but also the calibre of mares he's seen. Um, Dink, like Ocker Van Gogh, is eligible for the Elite Mares Incentive Scheme. And that's meant he's seen really high quality mares. But what I've been very encouraged by this season is obviously we've foaled um, a lot of his stock who are here today at the sale, but, but also elsewhere, they're, they're all over the place, which is fantastic for him. But the quality of the progeny he's producing has encouraged me enormously. What I've found is happening is people who perhaps came to see him in his first season and were waiting to see what the stock looked like have come, they've seen the stock, they've liked the stock, and, and it bodes really well for his future. The biggie, I think, for this fella is that, for Dink, is that he is um, a polyglot. He's the only son of polyglot standing at stud, which is a fact that I never ceases to amaze me. Um, and I think a lot of people now, he's been in this country for a couple of years, 
are recognising the value of being able to continue that line. Um, he puts really good bone on his horses and he also just has an unbelievable temperament. Anyone that's heard me talk about this horse before will tell you that I think Dink is just the consummate gentleman and having handled now his young stock he puts that fantastic temperament onto his foals and that is just uh, sick is such a high commendation for him. I'm just really excited to see what he does in the future because that's where we are at the moment. You know, there's there's stock on the ground, but it, it's seeing where they go that is a really exciting thing. So Nuba Negra, obviously Dink's fla flagship horse. You know, he's he is just such a great, great horse to be involved with because he always gives it his best. He likes to run fresh. Everyone knows that about him by now. But time and again, this is a horse that. Um, holds his own in graded company. You know, whether if he's not winning, he's being placed, and you know you can't ask for horses to give you more than that. He's got a phenomenal attitude, and his speed over his fences is unreal. You know, he gets from A to B efficiently and quickly, and you know in this game that's key.